build your recruiting brand. <laughs> All right. And don't forget to take them out for something to eat. Um, probably the best restaurants for people that come from these kind of locations are the ones where instead of uh, something traditional, any recruiter can take a wine and dine somebody at a regular restaurant. What I like to do, and I think you could try this too, it's, it's really fun, is surprise them with something novel, a really different experience. So when you take them out to eat, just go out onto the beach at low tide, get some rubber boots, all right, and a little fork, and go out there clam and just go out and say, here you go, just like the recruiting experience, we're just going to go out and dig holes in the sand and in the mud and see if we can find some good stuff here. Uh, and then just eat whatever you find raw. That'll really, don't remember that. Again, that'll just be such a strong connection. All right, if, if all else fails, put them all on a boat. If you think that you're not going to make it, all right, someone else is going to recruit them, or they might unfortunately be happy at their current position, and you don't think you really have a chance, put them on all, all on a boat, go out to sea, maybe try, if it really works if you get in some really bad weather, and then sink the boat. If you have the only life raft, you can really get them to agree to anything you want. Have your employment contracts right there ready to go. Say, okay, if you want to live, you got to sign this and go work for us. All right, so I couldn't fit that all on a business card. <laughs> but I hope you're able to take some of these ideas. Before I wind up here, uh, any questions about how you might use some of these techniques? Anybody have any other ideas on how you know the ways to build your recruiting brand? Yeah. <laughs> well, the trick is not to actually kill or murder them, but just to come really close so that they like you a lot, <laughs> at least temporarily. <laughs> absolutely. If you really want to do it efficiently, you can outsource it. Absolutely. Yeah. Are you certified to do my Not really. Um, we looked at at maybe providing that certification as well, but the people we trained to do the certification. They didn't come back, so. <laughs> that was kind of a speed bump. <laughs> All right, I think. All right. All right. Sean, thank you so much. Let's hear from our esteemed judges, uh, Dwayne Lang. Yo, 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 Sean, I thought you started strong, dog. I thought, uh, I thought it was really tight. Um, I gotta tell you, though, when you started talking about jumping with the parachute and then jumping after, I got distracted. I started playing the movie with point break in my head. And I didn't, I didn't hear the rest. Well, honey, I have to give you so many big props for your creativity. Um, I would have never thought of almost trying to kill someone to get them to work for me. But hey, you know, it totally makes sense to me now. So, good job. Sean, I'm going to be honest with you. When this started, I really thought it was going to suck. <laughs> but honestly, by the end, I would say you did a really solid, mediocre job. So. Well done. <laughs>